projects 5A to 5D. Study the superficial veins of the body. The veins of the arms are anatomically divided into two groups, superficial and deep. The superficial veins are located immediately beneath the skin, between two layers of superficial connective tissue fascia. For the purpose of this project, we will focus on the superficial veins. You will need the following items. Alcohol hand rub, a pair of clean gloves, a tourniquet, a skin marker pen, a volunteer patient with prominent veins, good lighting. Identify the veins of the arm and hand. Follow these steps. Study the detailed illustrations as well as the simplified diagram of the veins of the upper extremity. Ask the volunteer to lie down and let the arm hang down below the rest of the body to allow the passive gravitational filling of the veins. Prepare your hands hygienically. Apply the tourniquet about four fingers above the elbow. Identify the veins of the front side of the arm by inspection and by palpation using the tips of your middle three fingers. Draw the veins on the arm with the skin marker pen. Follow the simple diagram to identify the veins of the upper side of the hand by inspection and by palpation. Draw the hand's veins with the skin marker pen. Feel free to photograph your volunteer's arm, then label the veins using the illustrations and diagrams. Identify the veins of the leg. Study the superficial veins of the leg. Ask the volunteer to expose the leg area up to some distance above the knee. The leg should be lower than the rest of the body to allow the passive gravitational filling of the veins with blood. Apply the tourniquet at a location at least four to eight fingers above the knee joint. Draw, photograph, identify, and label the veins. Identify the veins of the neck. Study the superficial veins of the neck. Ask the volunteer to expose the neck area. Place the person in the Trendlenburg position by placing the head and neck about 15 degrees lower than the rest of the body. Tilt the head slightly away from you and apply light pressure just above the clavicle. You can increase the intrathoracic pressure by asking your volunteer to close the lips and forcefully exhale against resistance. This will help to engorge the external jugular veins, which will show the veins more clearly. Keep in mind that neck veins vary to some extent. Some patients have double external jugular veins. The external jugular vein has two pairs of valves. The lower pair is located at its entrance into the subclavian vein and in most cases, the upper pair is located about four centimeters, or one and a half inches, above the clavicle. If you place your volunteer patient in the Trendelenburg position, you may notice the external jugular vein pulsating. This is caused by retrograde pressure from atrial systole. Draw, photograph, identify, and label the veins. Map the valves in veins. Using the index finger of one of your hands, apply firm pressure on a forearm vein close to the wrist. Position your second index finger next to the first index finger toward the volunteer's elbow. Press and slide the second index finger toward the elbow, exerting mild pressure. As you move your finger along, blood will empty from the vein. Stop at the proximal side of the section identified and then release the second index finger. The vein will immediately refill up to a point where a venous valve is situated. Notice that the previously distended vein remains flat up to the valve inside the vein. Lift the first index finger and note the flat section of vein filling up with venous blood. Mark and photograph the position of the valves using your skin marker pen.